Your Excellency, Ms. Trinok Tiantong, Minister of Education, Thailand, Your Excellencies, Ministers, and Head of Delegations, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and a very good afternoon. Let me begin by thanking the Government of Thailand for hosting the second Asia-Pacific Regional Education Ministers' Conference. The Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport, Science and Technology of Japan, UNICEF and UNESCO for co-organizing this event. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the disruptive impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on education system globally has been unprecedented. World Bank described COVID-19 as the worst shock to education system in decades, where we observe an increase in learning losses and inequalities, especially amongst those in lower socioeconomic brackets. At its peaks, schools were closed and were forced to build emergency learning systems, and that most teachers have to learn about remote learning almost immediately. This was carried out through many platforms such as the internet, television, and home pack learning, where schools had to teach students in many different ways. In Brunei Darussalam, after a few months of closure, schools reopened their doors in 2021. Our priority was to ensure that all learners are back in the classrooms so we can assess any learning loss and provide them with remedial and learning support programs to recover and fill their learning gaps. We also wanted to ensure that they are well supported in terms of social and emotional growth. As the student returns to classroom, we hope that the technologies used during the school closures that help us continue some form of learning will become permanently embedded in our teachers' teaching and continue to become refined practices consistent with the ongoing shift towards student-centered learning. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the process of transforming our education for our future began even before the COVID-19 engulfed the world. It was catalyzed by the advent of the fourth industrial revolution and accelerated further by the pandemic. Such disruptive phenomena demand us to transform our education system so that we can educate and train our students to be creative, entrepreneurial, collaborative, and resilient with 21st century skills, competencies, values, and knowledge that support sustainable development of our planet. It is incumbent for us to use the opportunity to push for significant shift in education. In our effort to develop our education system for the future, our Ministry of Education has initiated or is embarking on a number of strategic education initiatives which aim to address the need to improve our curriculum, pedagogy, assessment, educational technology, and human resources in order to provide quality education for our learners. This shows not only the Ministries of Education's unwavering commitment to the country's national vision 2035, but also to transform education for the future of Asia and the Pacific. We are currently reviewing and updating our curriculum and assessment on core subjects to be aligned with international standards and also to integrate curriculum such as financial and digital literacy across different levels in order to provide knowledge, competencies, and skills for our learners so they will be able to navigate the challenges of a global citizen and the world of work. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry is also working on a number of initiatives to enhance the quality of our teachers by improving our selection processes, working with teachers' training institutions to deliver cutting-edge programs and developing professional development programs with our own leadership and teachers' academy, as well as with other regional and international training academies. This includes training on classroom instruction that embraces the use of technology to provide more personalized and student-centered learning experiences. At the same time, to address challenges of devices, especially among vulnerable learners, the Ministry will continue to collaborate with other government and non-government agencies to provide not just devices, but also faster and reliable internet services. At the school level, students are encouraged to be independent and lifelong learners by increasing students' involvement in their own learning with positive attitude and improved self-esteem. 
Learning support programs will also continue to be improved to ensure that all students receive attention and help in accordance with national and international learning standards, especially among students who are vulnerable and have special needs. Our schools promote inclusive and green education. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we strive to transform our education system for the future, our learners need to be reminded not only on the necessity to take care of our people and develop our economy, but also to ensure our planet is sustainable. After all, we have only one world. I believe with enhanced partnership and collaboration, we can strive together to further strengthen our effort towards achieving these noble objectives. Thank you.